coaching has been, uh, to me, has been uh, uh, something I really love to do. If it wasn't for the coaching, I, I don't even know if I'd have stayed in education. But the opportunity to coach and work with kids uh, athletically, because I, to me, athletically, <coughs> the things that a kid can get out of athletics are as important as what he gets out of a classroom. You know, you got to say that education, your education has got to be number one. But to me, your extracurricular activities, and your, especially to me, athletics, are very close second. But I, you know, all you guys have been involved in athletics. You know what it's done for you. And if you can pass that on to the kids that you're coaching, and they get the, those kind of opportunities to do the things that you did, and uh, you're able to teach them not mm -hmm. only to play well, to, but to be a, you know, a, a good athlete, which means more than just the ability. I mean, you got to be able to, uh, you got to win and win with uh, some dignity. You got to be able to lose and lose with dignity, and you know, all these things that you try to teach kids, you know, motivate, uh, motivate them, and uh, what commitment means and what responsibility means and things like this. <coughs> to me are so important to a, to a person's life, to a kid's life, that that's, that's why I enjoy coaching so much. For Buffalo Bill linebacker Shane Conlon on hand today. As part of the event, he signed a number of items, including a jersey for the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame and about 50 copies of Gail Jarrow's latest biography on Justice Jackson. Also, Jackson Center Chair Greg Peterson sat down for a one-on-one -on -one with Conlon as well. A rapidly developing defense was led by All-Pro Bruce Smith. 1987 first round draft pick Shane Conlon. What are your early memories of Conlon? Uh, God, I've, <laughs> I've had, I've been blessed, I think, with good players and good kids down there in Frewsburg since I've been head coach. <clears throat> Shane Conlon uh, naturally was one of them. He was really a gifted athlete, that kid. The whole Conlon family, a lot of people don't know about the other two brothers <laughs> that were really good athletes. In fact, the best athlete of all is probably Kevin. <clears throat> and actually, probably he had the better ability than all three of them. Right. Shane was Shane had all kinds. Uh, he had offers baseball. Uh, uh, Pittsburgh Pirates gave him a big bonus offer that he turned down. And he ended up going. He ended up going to Penn State, and you know, you know the story. Uh, his other brother, uh, Mike, uh, works down here at Homelands. Uh, runs part of the store. I guess he married. Al's daughters, <laughs> so he runs part of the store, and uh, he he went to Rutgers. He was a division player, one player at Rutgers. And we've had Shane play Division One, Terry Gray who played Division One, both of those professionally also. <laughs> he always, you know, he always says things like he gives me a lot of credit for getting him in down here and his early coaching and all that stuff. And and what I tell him is. <laughs> That kid, regardless, it doesn't matter who would have coached him. Spent a lot, a lot of time because I talked to Shane about that. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because it, it yeah. does Who would have coached him or anything else? It wouldn't have mattered because that kid had, you know, everything it takes to be a a real right professional attitude. athlete, the right attitude. Exactly. You get a lot of kids that have good ability, you know, good speed, right. good size, right. do everything, but they never seem to cut it because they don't have it from here up. It's that group right there that played with Shane. People don't really, you know, all they hear about is Shane, but geez, there was some good, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Johnny Treadway was one, there was a lot of good, other good kids playing there. Johnny Birch was probably one of the best running backs right. and defensive backs that I ever coached. But he, uh, you know, he never got the recognition that Shane got. Right. But, but he was a, he was a great player. The year that Shane graduated, when he won the mm -hmm. league, yeah. that last game, <laughs> I stood right on the sideline. I knew that would come up. Yeah, <laughs> right at the sidelines, right at the end zone. 
Mm -hmm. When he come around the end there, that play you had was good and buddy right there. He come around the end there, and the look on his face, there wasn't anybody in this world going to stop him from going in that end zone. <laughs> Nobody. That was an unfortunate game. Uh, both of us were undefeated going into the game. And they had a good team, and we had a good team. Who were you playing for? Uh, no, this is Pam. Oh, Pam. Yeah. yeah. And we we were beating them very badly. It was like yeah. 30 to nothing or very close to it. But during that game, things had gone on that really upset me. It's the only time I've ever done it in my life because I usually do exactly the opposite. When I get a chance to put kids in, kids that have been working in practice and do it don't matter what <laughs> their level they're at, if we get a chance to play them, I play them. In this particular game, uh, fans from the other side, and I know coaches can't control fans, uh, but fans, well first fans from the other side, we'd get a kid hurt, we had Mike Green hurt, and they'd say, too bad it's not Connor, you know, things like that, they were making contact, uh, comments like that, and, and they were playing, they were going down, uh, blocking in the secondary instead of blocking somebody they were throwing punches and uh, things like this and it just upset me that that I didn't that their coach I didn't think was controlling their kids very well and we didn't need to score that touchdown that you're talking about but it, I put him back in because <coughs> I, and that's the only time I ever done it in my life and I probably shouldn't have done it then but, but it just upset me to the point that, that you know we can't allow stuff like that to go on. And I told the coach after the game exactly why I did it. I guess the competitive juices were flowing in me as well as the kids. Well, they always did, so no reason why they shouldn't. Yeah, there's no reason why they shouldn't. <laughs>